this is page 72 and 73 actually. It's uh, playing in the major and minor five figure positions. I hope you've been keeping up. You may need to sit down and fasten your seatbelt because things got a little more interesting here. In the past, we've been dealing with major patterns, five finger, major five finger patterns always had to deal with. And remember the pattern, it's a series of whole steps and half steps, a pattern of whole steps and half steps. And we generally use C major for major patterns because C major has no sharps or flats. It's all the white keys. It's easy to see the pattern of whole steps and half steps. So a five finger position here, you can see from starting here, you go up, that's a whole step because there's a note, whole, whole step, half step, whole step, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole. Ah. That's the pattern for any major five finger pattern. Start on any key, get that pattern and you've got it. Well, with minor, it's a different pattern, that's all. And again, we like to use the white keys as the example. And the pattern in minor that uses the white keys is A minor, down here. Doesn't matter which hand plays it, I'll go up here. And here you can see the pattern. Start here, it's a whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So it's whole, half, whole, whole. Whole, half, whole, whole. Whole, half, whole, whole. Whole, half, whole, whole. <laughs> Start on any key, white or black, and use that pattern, and you're guaranteed to get a minor five finger pattern. You might not know what it is, but that's that's what it is. Huh? It's like on page 72, where they want you to write in the note names of on the keys where they go in D minor. Where you're going to start on a D, because that's what they're telling you to, and you go up the whole half, whole, whole pattern, and that's it. So I go up a whole, E, half, F, whole, G, whole, A. It turns out to be all white keys again. Isn't that nice? So you'd write in the, those note names in those keys and have fun with that. Eh, whatever. Top of page 73, they're showing you the difference between the C major five finger pattern and the C minor five finger pattern. Okay, it works out that way. I mean, what I'm showing you with a pattern of whole steps and half steps works in any key at all times. This is kind of nice if you can get it, it kind of helps. It reinforces things, another way of looking at it. C major is here. If I want a C minor pattern, I'm going to take the middle note and just take it down a half step. That would be a C minor pattern. I could check it with the whole step, half step pattern. I go whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole. It's the same pattern. It's here. But you can do any major five finger pattern and take the middle note down a half step and you get a minor pattern. All right. For kicks and giggles, let's try this one. A flat major. If I want the minor, I take the middle note down a half step. And we have A flat minor. Generally, we'd do that in G sharp minor, but I won't get into that right now. The point is, in a five finger position, you're going to just lower the middle finger, the middle note, whatever finger it's on. It's middle finger right now. It could be any finger. You're going to lower it a half step. Yeah. So at the bottom of page 73, they're doing the patterns. Major, minor. I suggest you go up. Go Do all the keys. Major, minor. Here. Here. And then up here. the middle note is all I'm doing here. It all works the same way. I said, you go up and try them all just for kicks and giggles. Kind of sounds neat. You're not going to remember much of it because it takes time to get this under the fingers and all. But as long as you understand the pattern, all I'm doing is taking the middle note in the position down a half step. Well, whatever the position is. Let me know if you have any questions. 
On page 74, they're, they're showing you more written exercise, the things you want to do, go right ahead. And playing in the patterns, I already demonstrated that. You can go right up the keyboard on this. That, that's fine. Remember in C sharp major, it's seven sharps. Every note is sharped. That's why you see all these sharps in here. In C sharp, they're all sharped. That's why normally in music we would play that not as C sharp major, but as D flat major, because D flat only has five flats. Generally, it's easier to read five flats than seven sharps, but in my opinion, you really ought to be able to read either one. Just, just you're playing in that position, you're playing those notes. That's all, and you lower it down, you're just doing an E natural rather than an E sharp, because an E sharp is here and E natural is here. That's what they're doing there. And you can go up the keyboard and do them all. Just have a ball, have fun and all that junk. Okay. Then have a drink or something. I, I'm not sure. <laughs>